Hello and welcome to On the Food Scene with Steve. Today I'm in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and with me is Chef Alex Young, who is the owner chef of Zingerman's Roadhouse. Thanks for having me here today. Oh, very nice to meet you, Steve. Thank you. Can you give me a little background about, I know Zingerman's is very well known throughout the country, and how you got involved with uh, Zingerman's? Well, it was my dream to open a restaurant in Ann Arbor, and decided uh, that's what I was going to do. A friend had told me about Paul and Ari, the founders of Zingerman's, and um, I introduced myself to them on the phone and I said about building a relationship with them. And I had already envisioned my restaurant being an American brasserie of sorts and starting to study American food and having studied most of the other sure. scenes in the world. And, and it's true that barbecue is one of the foundations of American cookery, is it not? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. And tell us a little bit how you hone your barbecue skills, because it's not something that uh, a lot of people study. How did you uh, do your research? Well, I've been barbecuing all of my life, and I have a barbecue sauce recipe from the age of 11, so it's 30 plus years old now. Um, but, and I've always done oil can pit barbecuing, but um, when we were studying to open the roadhouse, we went to the Southern Foodways Symposium, which happened to be at barbecue that year. We met some of the most famous pit masters. And we got to like Ed Mitchell out of Wilson, North Carolina. He actually came up here the weekend before we opened. And of course, you can't learn barbecue in a weekend or even a generation sometimes. But, um, but I'm pretty much a traditionalist, and so I wanted to build a real pit, and I did. I drew a pit myself, hired a bird player, a welder, had it built and burned all my wood. There's no gas assist. Built the flavor profiles the way I like them. Yeah, I saw the pit out there. It's a huge, huge barbecue pit. Yeah. And what would you say your specialty means here, or is everything your special? No, it's got to be the whole hog, okay. because we do Eastern Carolina whole hog. Yeah. And you actually pick the farmers that you're using to provide you with the, uh, the meat? It took me a few years to get it good. We've always bought 900 inch meats, which are fantastic. Um, but after a few years of trying, I was able to get uh, farmers here in Michigan to deliver hogs directly to us. Great. We also grow a lot of our own hogs as well. Yeah, you mentioned that earlier today that you have a farm where you grow your heirloom tomatoes and yeah. other vegetables. Tell us a little about that. Well, we grow heirloom tomatoes in, in quantity. We grow heirloom red peppers for fire roasting in quantity. And we also do some meats. So we do a number of hogs and some steer, sheep. And is it something that people are uh, intrigued about that the middle here in Ann Arbor, Michigan, to have a wonderful barbecue restaurant? Is that something that is uh, unique to these people in Ann Arbor, There's some okay barbecue in the area, and so people are familiar with barbecue, uh, but certainly you might not think to find it in College Town, Southeastern sure. Michigan. Well, if you're ever in Ann Arbor, Michigan, definitely need to take one of the stops of yours at the uh, Zingerman Roadhouse. And I want to thank uh, Chef Alex for uh, speaking with us today for On the Food Scene with Steve with Alex Young at the Zingerman Roadhouse in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm Stephen Freese.